Imagine your electric meter running backwards while you're at work or on vacation. That's not science fiction. That's net metering. And you all know what a battery is. Both net metering and solar batteries are different ways that homeowners can deal with excess solar energy. You'll hear about both options when you think about installing solar panels on your home. So which one should you choose? We'll break it down in this video. Be sure to watch until the end to decide which one is right for you. I'm Lindy from Empower Solar a family-owned solar installation company based in Brooklyn, New York, that's dedicated to building a greener, more sustainable future. A question we get all the time is, what happens to the extra energy that I don't use? Let's clear that up. What is net metering? To fully understand the concept of net metering, we're going to need to define two things. One, what is a net meter? A net meter is a special electric meter that tracks two things, how much energy you use from the grid, and how much extra solar energy you send to the grid. It's bi-directional, meaning that it can count both ways. When your panels overproduce, the meter literally runs backwards, earning you credits. A net meter looks like this. It's simply a piece of hardware that replaces your current meter or attaches to your old one. Your solar installer working with your existing energy supplier will handle this step for you. Two, what is net metering? Net metering is a billing process that credits homeowners for the excess energy they produce. Think of your electric meter like a bank account. During sunny days, you deposit energy, and at night or in cloudy days, you withdraw it. And when you generate more than you use, your utility credits you, just like depositing some extra cash at the ATM for future use. With net metering, you only pay for the net energy you use per month. To sum it up, on sunny days, your panels produce energy for your home. On cloudy days, you draw power back from the grid. You're in total control of your energy bills. Now, let's talk about that extra energy and what happens to it. Earning credits and cashing credits. Any extra energy that your panels generate goes right back into the grid until you need it again. For every sunny little kilowatt that your panels generate that you don't need, you get a credit. You might actually see your meter tick backwards. Yep, backwards. For instance, if you produce more electricity than you use, it's possible to have negative usage on your electricity bill. When this happens, you may pay nothing but your monthly service charge to your utility company. When your panels aren't producing enough energy and you need to draw power back from the existing grid, your system will cash in those credits automatically by drawing back that power. Simple, right? With net metering, you're only billed for your net energy use. Now, let's take a look at solar batteries and how they differ from net metering. What is a solar battery? A solar battery is a large, specialized battery that connects to your solar panel system. So in some states, instead of drawing power back from the grid using net metering, you can store that power using a solar battery right at home for later use, like charging a giant battery pack. With solar batteries, the energy that you generate is stored in a closed system. Unlike net metering, a solar battery requires a more involved installation process. A solar battery is usually placed along an outside wall of your home or in a garage or attic, depending on what your installer recommends. If you've ever seen an at-home electric car charger, just picture that, but bigger. How much energy does a solar battery system store? Speaking of size, the battery system that you purchase depends on the amount of energy that you'd like to store. Usually, solar experts recommend a battery capacity that stores about half of the energy that you would normally use in a day. The capacity of a solar battery is measured in kilowatt hours. So if you normally use 20 kilowatt hours, your system should ideally hold 10 kilowatt hours, which by the way, is the most common battery size. You can talk to your provider about what battery size works best for you. Similar to net metering, homes with a solar battery are still connected to your utility provider and you'll pay a small monthly service fee. The difference is that your home will draw power back from the grid on cloudy, rainy days or at night but only once you have used all of the energy stored in the battery system. How much does a solar battery system cost? According to solar.com, a single battery install will cost between six and $18,000. This is due to the fact that you need to purchase the battery system for your home and pay for the installation. Once they're installed, they can last for up to 15 years. It's common for a solar battery to come with a 10 year warranty that guarantees performance. For example, some warranties will replace a battery if it falls below 70% of its original capacity. If you think that a solar battery might be right for you, you'll first need to check whether it's offered in your region. Due to safety regulations in more densely populated areas like New York City, 
Solar batteries aren't an option. Solar versus net metering, the pros and cons. Now that you understand how net metering and solar batteries work, it's time to compare them. Let the battle commence. Solar battery pros. You can store extra energy in your home. Some warranties will cover battery system replacement. Batteries can last between five and 15 years. Net metering pros. You can earn credits on your utility bill for the extra energy that you produce. There is no upfront installation cost. There is no additional storage space required. Solar battery cons. The upfront installation cost is expensive and the battery takes up space in your home. They're not available in every state. It will likely need to be replaced before your solar panels. Net metering cons. It's not available in every state. It doesn't work if you're not connected to the grid. It doesn't store extra power. The bottom line. Both solar batteries and net metering provide homeowners with distinct benefits. The right choice depends on factors such as your goals, location, your ability to provide any upfront costs, and your individual energy usage. Are you Team Solar Battery or Team Net Metering? Let me know in the comments below.